Hello friends. Today we will discuss sunburn and suntan. Oh, I guess I was wearing the same shirt in my last video. So boring I am. Huh? Okay, let's change it. Okay, now it feels better I guess. So, let's start. Now, we all know the basic part but just summarizing it in briefly. Sun rays are divided into mainly three parts. First is visible light that we can see and the second is above that which is infrared ray which we can feel through the heat of sun rays and below the visible range comes the ultraviolet rays which is uh, divided further into three parts UVA, UVB and UVC. Most of the UVC doesn't come uh, towards the earth surface because it gets absorbed by the ozone layer of the atmosphere. So we are mainly contained with UVA and UVB. The amount of ultraviolet ray that reaches us depends on so many things. But just remember simply two things here. First is it increases during summer months and decreases during winter months. And secondly, uh, during the day, it is highest during noon time and at the morning and at the evening, it is lowest. So what are the effects of sun rays in our body or on our skin? We will discuss about ultraviolet rays here. We will not discuss about visible sunlight and infrared rays. The effects are mainly divided into two parts. One is acute and another is chronic effects. About the chronic effects, which is mostly uh, related to skin cancer and skin aging, uh, the part skin aging I have already discussed in my previous video. You can watch that video by clicking the i button and about skin cancer I will definitely discuss it in another video someday but today we will contain ourselves with acute effects of ultraviolet ray on our skin first is sunburn so what is sunburn first let me introduce you all to a specific term called MED or minimal erythema dose so what is MED or minimal erythema dose? See, for a particular wave wavelength of light, uh, the minimum amount of that particular light which is capable of inducing redness or erythema in our skin is called MED or min minimal erythema dose of that particular light for that particular skin. Sunburn is basically a reaction of our skin on exposure to sunlight in excess of the minimal erythema dose. Now, we cannot simplify the term overexposure because overexposure of sunlight uh, is different in different individuals. For people with lighter skin tone, the MED is low. So, the chance of getting a sunburn is more in case of people with lighter skin tone. But people with darker skin tone has a higher MED. So, more amount of light or more exposure is required for uh, sunburn to occur in them. So you just remember the more lighter skin tone you have the more chance you have of getting a sunburn. See the amount of ultraviolet B light that comes to the earth surface is very less in compared to ultraviolet A but the damaging property or erythmogenic property of ultraviolet B light is many times greater than ultraviolet A. So in most of the cases the sunburn is caused by ultraviolet B light. Ultraviolet B light induced erythema or sunburn becomes evident after 6 hours of exposure to sunlight and its appearance becomes most intense after about 12 to 24 hours after the exposure. The initial redness then becomes painful and in severe cases blisters may also appear. In severe cases systemic symptoms like chills, fever, nausea, uh, high pulse rate, low blood pressure can also occur and it may persist for as long as one week. The sunburn over skin usually takes a uh, few days to fade out but after a week there may be skin peeling over the areas of sunburn. Okay, now let's talk about suntan. Oh, how can I discuss this topic here? Let's go to the rooftop. Yeah, we are out in the sun now. Oh, I forgot to apply sunscreen. Sunscreen applied. Oh, physical photo protection. Very important. Wait. Yep, yeah, now it's alright. Now, let's get going. 
We will talk about skin tan, which is very important right here, right now. After exposure to ultraviolet light, our skin goes into three types of skin tanning process. First is immediate pigment darkening, second is delayed pigment darkening, and the third and most important is delayed melanogenesis or delayed tanning. Immediate pigment darkening is grayish discoloration of sun exposed area of our skin which fades within 15 minutes after exposure. It is caused by low dose exposure to ultraviolet A light. Now as we all know melanin is the pigment which imparts color to our skin but uh, along with melanin there are also melanin precursor molecules which are present in the skin which are colorless. But when ultraviolet A light falls on our skin, it causes oxidation of these melanin precursor molecules, which is thought to be responsible for immediate pigment darkening process. Whatever, it is nearly undetectable in pupil with lighter skin tone. But in pupil with darker skin tone like me, it is very much evident. Now, persistent pigment darkening is brownish discoloration of our skin due to exposure to higher dose of ultraviolet A light which becomes evident 2 hours after exposure and fades within 1 to 5 days. It is thought to be due to more persistent oxidation of melanin precursor molecules. Before I move to the most important part which is delayed melanogenesis or delayed tanning, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Now, what is delayed melanogenesis or delayed tanning? Yes, it is the most important part of this topic. Delayed melanogenesis or delayed tanning is darkening of our skin tone over the sun exposed areas of our skin which is caused by the same wavelength of ultraviolet B light which produces sunburn. It occurs due to increased melanin production. Then the melanin is transported to skin surface and then redistribution of that melanin occurs over our skin surface. It appears two to three days after exposure to ultraviolet B light and it fades away within 10 to 14 days if no further exposure to sunlight occurs. The underlying mechanism is ultraviolet B induced damage of DNA. So though this tanning process is somewhat protective from further solar damage but the damage to our skin is already done. So tanning is not recommended for sun protection. Mark my words very carefully. Tanning is not recommended for sun protection. Commercial tanning bed induced tanning increases skin pigmentation but it does not increase the minimal erythema dose of our skin to ultraviolet B light. Thus it does not at all protect us from ultraviolet B induced skin damage. Rather, those tanning devices have shown to cause skin cancer. So, use of these devices for the purpose of tanning should be banned. Though in our country, we don't actually see those devices because we don't need further sun tanning as we are born with a darker skin tone which is somewhat protective from solar damage, skin cancer, etc. But remember one important thing, the more lighter your skin tone is, the chance of getting a tan is lesser. But the chance of getting sunburn or getting skin cancer is increased. But if you have a darker skin tone, then you may get deeply tanned. But probability of getting a skin cancer or getting skin burn is decreased. We will definitely discuss the treatment and prevention method. but. It will be discussed in the last video of this series. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you gained any kind of knowledge from this video, do like, share and comment. So that's it for now. We will meet in our next video. Till then, take care, be healthy and bye bye.